Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to K-Wing's Let's Play's channel, and today is the start of a brand new series on the Avatar The Last Airbender, the Quest for Balance, which is a brand new game that releases tomorrow, so today is early access for two streams, and then more of the uh, story will be continued tomorrow. Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. So they're showing kind of the intro, but a little bit different. And this is based on the first Avatar series, The Last Airbender, which is my favorite. Yeah, me too. I think the quest for balance is either a new story or it's a retelling of Aang's entire adventure in a video game. With people criticizing the visuals saying like this game belonged in the year 2015. But... I mean, you know, it's a Nickelodeon game. That looks cute to me. I believe Aang can save the world. Avatar, the last airbender, quest for balance. Okay, brand new game. I think this is made by the people who do um, the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl game. It's associated with Game Mill Entertainment and also with Bantang Games, which is, um, yeah, it's just part of Nickelodeon stuff. Yep, so this releases tomorrow morning, guys, at 10 a.m., I believe, uh, worldwide. Yep, thank you, uh, again, uh, Dakota the Hedgehog for the, um, highlighted message and for being a member for seven months. This is Avatar Hype. I love The Last Airbender. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Thank you, uh, Dakota the Hedgehog. Really appreciate that. Thank you for the highlighted message. Yeah, and so hope tiresome. everyone's day is going great today. Great to see you guys and gals. Alright, let's see what this game's about. She'll be here any minute. But this is our pie show day, Iroh. <laughs> Do not worry, my friend. The director assured me this would only take a few minutes of our time. Just to confirm some details. Hello, meet and there she is. Gentlemen, so pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Song Ying, the director of the Ba Sing Se Players. Welcome to the Jasmine... As you know, the Ember Island Players production of The Boy in the Iceberg was said to have contained certain, let us say, historical inaccuracies. Ugh. And given that the great former general's dear, dear nephew is about to become the new Fire Lord, well, it seemed obvious that the play needed... A refresh. I am so proud of Zuko. Ah, yes, yes, as we all are. Which is why I wish to mount a brand new production. And who better to tell the tale, to set the record straight, if you will, than you three, who have seen it all. You could say that. No, I have. And I did. And so, I entreat you, my dear, eminent, respected, wise, and, dare I say, more than a little handsome gentleman, to lavish upon me the tale of the Avatar from the beginning. From the beginning? If you please, I will listen and record for all posterity the real, true story. Not one embellishment, not one! This should take no time at all, as you will speak freely without interruption, certainly not from me. I will be quite as a lizard mouse, <laughs> quieter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very well. A 
allow me to begin. People often talk about the calm before the storm, but this story begins with the storm before the calm. And, oh, storm before the calm. How clever. My, don't you have a silver tongue? Do go on, lizard mouse, lizard mouse. Thank you. Now, as I was saying, the storm before the calm. So this is a retelling of the entire Avatar Last Airbender um, right before Zuku is crowned king of the Fire Nation. No way! Okay, so it does not have full voice acting and the text is wicked small. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I won't let them take uh, me away. I think mm -hmm. this is when Aang is a little kid, 100 years. Mm -hmm. I have to go now. Okay. So your objective will appear at the top of the right side of the screen. Also, you can go to the quest screen to see your quest progress. And of course, we are playing the Nintendo Switch version of this game. Um, so far, the game looks okay. There is uh, his trusty seed. It doesn't look like it takes place at the very beginning. I don't know where he is. I want to say he's at the air temple, but I don't know. He only has his air abilities right now. Yes. No one can see me with this storm raging. So far, so good. Mission accomplished. The first steps. I'll get up there quicker if I follow this path. I'll take some jumping, but that'll get me to higher ground. So we might actually see classic um, Avatar characters interact with these people telling the story. Yeah. So it's it's after uh, the Avatar had defeated the previous Fire King, so Mark Hamill's character. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! What do you mean, Mark Hamill? Mark Hamill played the evil Fire Lord, Zuku's father. He did? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't even know that. The exit is on the other side of the training room. I had no idea. Um... Before I go, I think I will practice my airbending on these dummies here. So, airbending is done with the Y button. You can interact with objects by pressing the Y button when a message appears to use your bending. Different bending moves have different effects depending on the object. Okay. But right now he only has air bending. Should. Yeah, he only has the one thing. So I can basically... There's one dummy done. I have to defeat all the dummies. Let's go, Aang. Okay. And as far as I know, there's no way to make the text bigger. So this is going to be a challenge for me. Because the text is wicked small. Okay, so... It'll be a different kind of challenging game. Mm. Challenge to read. You can target by pressing ZL, it looks like. And then attack by pressing X. So that's this is your long range spells. Or bending. There you go. And another long range attack. There, that's all the dummies. Open the door using your air bending powers. Yeah. Okie doke. Yep. I've practiced enough. Time to get out of here. Would have been nice if this was all voice acted, but apparently it is not. Also, it looks like this is a linear game, so like classic early 2000s type game, not free roaming. I have to reach the cliff before I can call Appa. I better watch where I am jumping so I do not fall. Um, yeah, that's an interesting uh, question, Sharon. Well, actually, it's a great idea for a poll. What element... Um, Sharon was saying what element would you be if you were a bender. Okay. Because that would be kind of an interesting point. Fire, earth, water, and wind? I think wind isn't a bender. Yeah, wind is one. Alright, I made it. I can call Appa now. 
Uh, okay, can't read that. Completed the storm. Wow, that was that was a real quick. Okay. Caught in a storm, the avatar found himself overwhelmed, as did Appa, and they plunged into the ocean. The Avatar and his bison remained in the ice for 100 years until Katara and her brother Sokka discovered him. How could this boy in the iceberg possibly be the long-lost Avatar? At first, Sokka was suspicious, but Aang's charm and true nature eventually won him over. The three became fast friends, and Aang was welcomed by the people of the Southern Water Tribe. But soon, Aang would make a discovery that would set him back on the path to his destiny as the Avatar. Okay. I don't know what to call this section. I didn't see. So the first know. one was called Prologue, Calm Before the Storm. I don't know, training or... Book one. Water. Book okay. one. The Avatar Returns. Hmm. Okay, that's a girl. Ah. Uh, Katara. This is it. The Fire Navy ship. It brings back horrible memories for our people. We're not supposed to be here, but if you want proof of the Hundred Years' War... We'll find it here. You gotta go. Let's look around to see what we can find. Okay. Uh. Ice is blocking the path. Got it. I can get it out of our way. Oh, Katara has to get it out. So you have to interact with the um up and down D-pad, and then you can be Katara for water bending, or you can be um Ang for um air bending. Okay, so you're playing. You can switch between them. Yeah. So here we go. We're Ang, and then. Then you just switch. There you go. Interesting. And you switch with what button again? Um, up on the D-pad. Oh, okay, that's kind of clever. All right, so now it goes right to book two mm -hmm. or book one, water. And Ang can only use air magic still, but if I want to use water, then I switch to Kara, or Katara. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Um, I don't really know, uh, what kind of bender I would be, um, uh, Sharon, what kind of bender would you be, or what kind of bender would everyone be in the chat, and feel free to answer it in the poll, too. Okay, so there we go. So this is my water well, power. I mean, water bending would be pretty cool. Huh? Oh, the locked door has Fire Nation symbols on it. If we find something that matches the symbols... Maybe we could open the door. Okay, I'm noticing a pattern. Hmm, good idea, Katara. Look down there. Would have been ideal with voice acting, but what can you do? Use the map to look through the locations to see. Press the plus button to go to the pause menus. Okay, so this is your pause menu. Uh, see the map? You're on a shipwreck. Ang and Katara find a wrecked Fire Nation Navy ship. They must explore it so they can show Ang proof of the Hundred Year War. Okay. Uh, shipwreck. Reward is... Okay, so this is a map. Yeah, it's an entire linear game. Okay, how do I exit? I want out. Um, back B, I think. Okay, this is where you see your air bending powers, your scrolls, Appa upgrades or Ang upgrades. It looks like. So there is a skill tree. Okay. All right. 
Mm, the game doesn't look like it has a very smooth frame rate, from what I can see. Hello, Link. How you doing, buddy? Oh, that's true. Um, oh, wait. There are other kinds of bending, such as metal bending and the forbidden blood bending. You can only have four. You pick the four main elements. Well, I would go blood bending underwater, okay. since water benders know how to bend blood. Look, there are some uh, valves in this room. Or they can learn how to bend blood. Uh huh. Maybe if we hit those uh, valves in order, it'll open the door. Okay, so switch puzzle. Hit the switches or valves to open doors or activate machinery. Okay. Yeah, this does feel like an old school game. Like, um, I would definitely go back to what I was saying. Like, this feels like it was a game that was made in the early 2000s. Like, a very linear, licensed video mm. game. That's Katara. Oh, look, Aang. That strange door. Seems like it takes three round handles to open it. But they're gone. Hmm. Let's look for them. They've got to be around here some... Oh, sorry. That was Aang. Yep. Let's look for them. They've got to be here around somewhere. We'll get right to Let's it. keep our eyes peeled. Okay. Explore each location to uh, find side quests. You can track them when they appear by pressing the down and L button. You can also go to the quest screen and select the side quest you want to track. Uh, okay. Down and L screen? Uh... Dang, uh, I think the handles we need is for that door over there. Whoa, what? They did it automatically. Okay, that was weird. Fetching quest items. Uh, quest items and side quests, you'll be able to collect the items listed in the objective menu. Explore through the locations to find them and complete all your missions. Okay. I still don't understand how pressing down would do. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go break this ice here. Interact. Okay, so I can melt ice, but Aang needs to break boxes, right? Yeah, okay. Katara can't break boxes. Aang can break boxes. Katara can break water, or ice. There we go. And then easily switch between the two of them whenever I need to. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so Katara needs to break this. And now we have access to all this water stuff. So she also has long range attacks. Aang has long range as well. Oh, nice. Great pick for a game, honey. I mean, it's a brand new release, so I'm hoping it does something. Looks like there's some type of chest inside there. Explore the ship to find proof of the Hundred Year War. Okay. Can I break these boxes? No, this area is totally cut off. So, I need to activate these switches somehow. And then I could get to the chest that probably has proof of the Hundred Years War. It's got a cool um, atmosphere to it. It is cool atmosphere. Okay, so how do I interact with this switch again? Oh, just like that? Okay. So then you just walk up to the switch, hit the Y button. There we go, that's two switches done. Pretty simple. And then the last switch will open up. And now the Fire Nation door mm. will open. Uh, mm. sounds like the door opened. Let's go see what's behind that door. We can get proof. Or something. Yeah, I don't know. I would have, um, had voice acting in this. That's just me. Mm. But. Yeah, I understand. Um, Droggle says, I'd want to be an airbender that, cha that changed it into windbending because the 
thought process of it is less leaf on the wind of air bending more to eye of the storm. Interesting, Drongle. Mm. I voted for earth bending on the pole. Okay. Awesome, later, Gator. Yeah, I would kind of lean towards... I mean, I would... You would not think that earth bending... I mean, they don't really show... I feel like the person who was an earthbender didn't do... Wasn't as big of a part of the show as, like, Katara and Aang. Um, and they did water and, um, yeah, water and air. Toph? But Toph was a big... I don't feel like she was very powerful as an earthbender. Yes, she I... was. Okay, because I would She also think... created metal bending during the show. Oh. She was the first metal bending user, I believe. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was Toph was very important. Whoa. Ah, look! I can see another chest up there. Uh We could reach it using those platforms, but they're in the wrong position. Hmm. If we could use the engine to move them, we could get to the chest. Uh I bet we could figure that out. Let's keep moving. Yeah, voice acting would have been better. Quest compass. If you lose your way, go to the quest menu and activate the compass. This can lead you to your next objective. Uh, so yeah, I understand what people are saying that this game... Uh, activate a quest compass, first press the plus button to go to the pause menu. So you have your whole little quest item thing mm. here. The shipwreck, Aang and Katara, follow the highlighted instructions to activate the quest compass. Uh, hold A to activate. I love this show as a teenager, says Richard. It was a big deal. Now the compass is guiding you where to go. Uh, for extra info, press and hold L for a quick access to the map. Okay, press and hold L. Now we're back to the map. Now you can see where your je objectives from the active quests and side quests are. Uh, this will only be visible when the compass is active. Okay. Uh, the compass will be turned off once you go to your next objective. Uh, yeah, Tim says Toph was blind and she felt vibrations of the earth. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. Awesome, Tim. Okay, so I can't I'll probably gain access to that later. So it's actually showing me where to go. Um, one sec, guys and gals. Alright, so I think I got the like goal set up. Did I do it? Yeah. Um, okay, 120 likes is your next goal. We're exploring this Fire Nation ship. <clears throat> yeah, and someone was wondering if this game um, can have two players playing. I, I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't. I don't know anything about uh, we're just, details about this game are were very scarce. Yeah, we're just experiencing it for the first time with you guys, so we're figuring it out right now. Actually, mm -hmm. you're seeing everything happen in real time. Um, this is us figuring it out and mm -hmm. seeing what's going on. What is that? Um. Okay, so I can break these boxes. From what they were showing in the trailer, though, the game kind of looked like it was an open, open world thing, but it is a linear game. And eventually, Aang will be able to use all the elements, but since he can't right now... Oh, what's going on with Appa? Or is that a Appa? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, so it does follow the um, the whole Avatar original series. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, 
that's done. Oh. Whoa. Hey, uh, that's Katara. Hey, that's the uh broiler room. Maybe we can use this to start the engine. Hmm. Why not? We're here, but we better be careful. There might be traps. You're right. We'll be careful. Okay. I mean, it's nice to see this style of game, like, nowadays, because this isn't really the norm. They don't really make as many licensed games anymore. But this is definitely, like, whoever made this, like, they developed it. Uh, they definitely grew up with games in the, uh, I would say early 2000s, like, late 90s, because it, it has that type of linear vibe to it. Plus the hardly any voice acting. What? Hey, that's the broiler room. Uh, maybe we can use this to start the engine. Boiler room. Katara has problems with the word boiler room. Why not? That's a. We're here. Oh. We're here. Better be careful. What? You're right. We'll, uh, we'll be careful. Okay, so... You can actually see the character models don't look too bad. When you're able to zoom in on them. But it all depends on the camera angle. So we can't go through this door until after... Interact with door. Mm, uh, um, this door is sealed. It doesn't seem to have any locks. We have to figure out a way to open it. Okay. Uh, the cell shading looks pretty decent, though. All right. And come with me. Uh, it's a puzzle-oriented game. Uh, if we want to start the engine, I think we'll need to take one of these torches. And bring it over to that, uh, thing. Don't worry, Katara. I'll clear the fire out of your path. Okay, so puzzles, obviously. Use your bending skills to solve puzzles and keep progressing through the story. Some puzzles will require two or three characters, each one solving a different part of the puzzle. Special abilities will be needed for some of the puzzles. Okay. So, uh, Ang can put out fire with wind? Really? I would think Katara would be able to put out fire because of water. Uh. What is this? Oh, he had a torch. Well, I couldn't see that I actually had a torch. Interact. Y, and then, what, interact again, A button, X button, Y button, Y button drops the torch, well, how do I wave the torch around, okay, I got this, uh, I need to find a way of, Unless she has to do something here. Well, that didn't do anything. Uh, explore the ship to find proof of the war. Yes, that's what we're doing. Do you want me to say, like, Tuesday or Thursday that week would be alright if they're looking for a specific day? For what? For my uncle. Oh, yeah, whatever. I'll just say you may or may not be able to come depending on what's going on with our business that day. Oops. Is that true? I think yeah, that's fine. Because I... sometimes you're you're up really late at night. Like Ang can't jump. Okay. Only Katara can jump. What? Why can't Ang jump? Ouch! I'm confused. So Ang can jump after. Weird. Well, how do you change the positioning of the the fire? What is that? Alright, so I set up some type of wind power. It looked like both characters were supposed to do this puzzle somehow, but... They're not really showing you. Yeah, my original uh, thing about this game was correct. This game was designed with, like, classic 2000s style. Which means they're not going to tell you anything. Um... 
Explore the ship. Collect the door. Fiery. Figure out how to start the engine. Ang and Katara spy a chest on a high platform. If they started the engine to move the platforms, they might be able to reach it. Okay, on track. Hold A for the compass. On track. Something, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to get back to them in case they're making plans. Uh, Katara picks up Torch and Aang uses Vending to move it. So Katara has to be the one holding the torch? <laughs> okay. And then Aang is supposed to... No, now they both have torches. Okay, well, what does she do with the torch then? Wait, did that move? I thought I just saw something move briefly. No, the fire didn't move at all. Um, sorry, my co-host is distracted, so I don't okay. know how to do this. Okay, alright, uh, okay, I'll just, um, I'll write it later. This is also co-op from what you've seen. Uh, the fire moves using air bending on the pipe. Alright, sweetheart, I'm ready to, um, look at you, yes? Um... I totally missed the instructions and they're not going over it again. Okay, I'm sorry. I think the chat saw something, but I don't know. Alright, then I'll, I'll look back. I'm sorry. It's okay. Need both characters in order to do this. I'm trying to press a button to put fire inside of this, but every time I hit the Y button, she drops the torch. Every time I do something with Aang to push the flame from her, nothing happens. Alright, I'm, I'm scrolling back on the stream. Okay, so you have to start a fire over there. But how am I supposed to control both characters at the same time? Well, I guess we I mean I can see if I can I can Okay, there we go. It's unlocked now. Yeah, I don't even know how co op works though. Like you can try to bring Totally. Okay, so they finally turned the engine on. We got the engine running and uh I heard the door open nearby. Okay, Katara says something about a chest. Okay. And we can reach that chest now that the platforms are moving. Okay, either way, let's go. Okay, so now this is active and Katara can easily jump over stuff. <laughs> The problem that I have with this game is everything is so small. So, yellow objects Aang will be able to interact with now by just pressing the Y button, not the X button. Yeah, X button doesn't do anything. Only Y button. Um, how do you activate two-player? Party, Aang, Katara, options, settings, help, go to menu. Switch menu to activate my computer. Okay. Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, you could go back to that screen and then try it. Go back to what screen? I'm not options, seeing it. Would it be a minus? Just says settings. Doesn't say a way to toggle characters. Okay. 
You could go to their website and read about it. It's not showing anything here. Gameplay. Races. Co-op mode. Enter co-op mode at the avatar statues and follow the instructions to play with a friend or locally or online. So you need to go to some type of statue that they'll show us later on in the game in order to activate um, two-player. So you can't do it until there is a, quote, avatar statue. Okay. Well, that makes sense. All right. And then Katara. So the game can be played two-player. It's just not in the tutorial or the first level. Okay, so this is a chest of some kind. Okay. Uh, pie show tiles. You will earn these by completing quests. Use them to unlock perks in the skill tree. Okay. Uh, war plans. Documents detailing the Fire Nation's plan for world domination. Oh no! Wow, these are orders from Fire Lord instructing his army to imprison or eliminate all non-firebenders. Oh, wow. This is awful. And that's Katara. Look, Aang. Whatever we did, something's happening. So it looks like another gate opened up. It opened! Okay. Huh, what's that? Mysterious voice. Welcome, Avatar. Your journey to master all the elements has just begun. Who are you? Uh, all will be revealed to you in due time. The To guide you, I have created bending challenges. They are not merely... They are not merely a way to grow your power. Uh, they're also important wisdom necessary for you to use the power for the greater good. Okay, too much text. Don't care. Uh, ha ha. I trust that you will also rise to my challenge avatar. So that's the past avatar. Okay, I guess. Uh, step on the platform to continue. Yeah, this game oh. should have had voice acting. The older avatar. It's, yeah. The... What was that? You sort of blanked out there for a minute, eh? Previous avatar speaking to him. I heard a voice telling me to step into the light. Yeah, they should have had voice acting for this. Especially because this is a retelling of the entire Avatar game. And for the most part, the game doesn't look terrible. It's just, like, very cheap. Cheaply made. Um, party. We don't want to go there. Wanted to go to my skill tree. Here's my skill tree. Okay, can I unlock this? Uh, how many? So it's not letting me unlock anything. What about purchase this with Y? Ang's... Gale Force. Air Blast does more damage. Okay, so that one's open. Can't do anything with this. Okay, so I can't do anything with this stuff yet. We need two Avatar coins. We only have one. Okay. Yeah, and also the text is... For games that are very um, vision accessibility friendly, this game goes back to early 2000s with wicked small text and there's no way to make it bigger from what I can tell no uh, basic combat gameplay quest inventory party settings nope the only settings they give you is audio so there's no way to make the text bigger you have a subtitle option that's it there's no voice acting uh, outside of the cutscenes that they show um, this is about it can she free Appa? No. Oh, wait, maybe she can. No, she can't. He's just probably be unlocked during a cutscene or something. Okay. So now we go back. And to the room at the very beginning. Nope, this was the very beginning. Never mind. Characters can easily double jump. Okay. Yeah, but it looks like, it looks like Appa. Yeah, I mean, the game looks... Okay, the cell shading is nice and everything. I don't know how to open that. But you would need that in order to get his um, first skill tree power. Figure out how to start the engine. We already did that, so we need to go to another part. Uh, this one here, firing up the engine. Uh, Aang and Katara spy some stuff on a high platform. If they started the engine to move the platforms, they might be able to reach it. This one is Aang and Katara find a door that leads... 
Three circular handles to open. The only way to know what is behind the door is to search for the handles. Um, I yes? think um, um, some people in the chat are saying we hmm. were supposed to step forward into that light when the voice told us to. Okay, I'll go back there. I was but just... of course everyone is just kind of guessing at it because, you know, this game isn't out. Okay, so these guys can't open those. Alright. Okay. Well, we'll go back to where the glowing orb is then. Which was... What room was the glowing orb? I think it was up this way. Great okay. So that's the fire path. Uh, there's no thing for us to get up there. So then we go past here and then right to here. Okay. Enter the bending challenge. Okay. Sure. Alright, thank you, Savan. Appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. So it's path bending challenge. Okay. Uh, charged with bringing peace, the Avatar must move people's hearts and minds across all four nations to achieve this goal. Okay. Uh, move boxes and cylinders with air bending to clear the path and bring a torch to each Avatar. Complete the challenge to master this ability. Now that's actually a perfect size for the text that they just showed. It was very easy for me to see. Okay, so I push the box using my avatar wind magic. It opens. And it opens the path. Alright, pretty easy. Uh, also, the camera is fixed. You can't change the camera angle. This looks like a water bending puzzle. Maybe I need to do something with this fire. Push. Interact. Okay, it's another torch based puzzle. You cannot jump with torches. Uh, oh, it was going out of order. I need to somehow drop the torch, push this with my wind ability. Like that. Okay, with it. Good job, honey. Is that really all you needed to do? Okay, so then I would go back and grab the torch then. Okay. I do want a lot of mm, classic like Tomb Raider puzzle solving stuff. Yeah. Okay. And I mean like old it's school Tomb Raider now. puzzle solving stuff. Uh, right. Moving forward. What is this? Okay, that is just currency in game. That is not for avatar points. Uh, I'm surprised to see this many puzzles for the start of a... This is basically like the first tutorial level and they're throwing you through a lot of puzzles. Uh, that is... What, what is that? So I'm not going to be able to move that forward. Can I move it backwards? On here. No. Can I push it sideways? No. Hmm... Um, okay. There's no way to walk behind it. You could jump over it. But I need to find a way to bring that wheel over there to block the water. Is there a way to change the direction of the wheel? No. What is this over here? Ah, I see. Okay. So the wheel gets pushed over here. Oh, and then you do it. And then the wheel gets brought up. Mm. And then I need to find a way up to push the wheel so it goes, rolls down, and goes on top of the, uh... Okay, alright. Then I push this all the way down the stairs. Oh, cool. Interesting. 
Yeah, that's a lot of puzzle solving. Oh, okay. So then grab this, head over here, toss it on the torch thing, boom. Hmm. I don't know. We can get Based on seeing what type of game this is and paying full price for it, because this is a brand new release, would you guys... Is this the Avatar game that you saw advertised? Because it's not the one I saw advertised. I think it's cute. Under the guidance of Avatar, all elements are brought together and work in concert to create a path to peace for all the nations. Okay. Rightio. Pushing objects. Move boxes, cylinders, and other objects using your bending abilities. Use this to complete the puzzles and reach the elevated areas. Okay. Uh, pie show tiles. You will earn these by completing quests. Use them to unlock perks in your skill tree for each of the characters. Did I get any avatar stuff? What was that about? Well, I must go back with Katara and get out of this place now. That was it? So then you'll come back and you'll do another puzzle later on. Pie show tiles. Use these to unlock perks on the skill tree for each of the characters. Oh, every character will have a skill tree. Interesting. Okay. Right, right, right. Skill tree. Each playable character has their own skill tree. Use pie show tiles to unlock perks and improve their attacks and abilities. Some perks will be available only after completing specific path link bending challenges in battle arenas. After some perks have been unlocked, a character's health bar will increase. Check each character's skill tree in the pause menu. Okay. So now we're finally able to upgrade one of Aang's abilities. So this is the earth, or sorry, this is wind. This would probably be fire. This would be, uh, I don't know. Maybe these are the different elements. Uh, bending shockwave boost, catapult ability, shield swiftness. Bending bounce back, uh, blow harder, bending defense, so these are stat increases, air barrage, air Whoa. bending barricade, uh, big shockwave, combo boost, bending attack. Okay, so we have two points, so we're supposed to do that one. Okay, so it's pretty simple to open this one. So this one, the Gale Force. Air Blast does more damage. Helped open the path toward this. This ability requires three pie show tiles. This requires two. And this requires three as well. Increase air bending damage. Um, from what they showed in the trailer for this game, it didn't do this stuff. They showed close ups of Aang and all the characters using their fire. Aang and Katara sprang or their abilities. Endangering yeah. the village. Told to leave the village, Aang flew away on Appa but saw that the trap had attracted a Fire Nation ship. He had to get back and help them. Okay, so now everything was fine until the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> Cute! Voice acting? He just wants to play. Oh, it's the- Ride animals to enter a thrilling race. Avoid obstacles. To reach your goal more quickly, press B to perform a special move. Use it to avoid larger obstacles or to gain a speed boost. So it's the Mario Penguin thing. Penguin race. races. Okay. Uh, alright, alright, alright. So we've got the Mario 64 Penguin race stuff now. Okay, perform special moves. Use it to avoid larger obstacles. Okay. And what did the- when I said, would people still buy this game after seeing it, what did people say? Mm -hmm. Was this the game that people were expecting, or...? They asked how much money it was again. I think this is either 40 or $50. I think it's like $50. I'm not sure, though. Going mm -hmm. to Nintendo's website will tell us, though. If... A lot of people said this wasn't the game that they felt that was advertised. Hey, I, gotta be more I mean, it looked to me like it was an action beat-em-up game. This is a... 
I don't, this game uses so many different genres that I, I don't even know. I would get this game. I think it's cute. Also, it has some frame rate issues. See how they... I mean, we are playing on Nintendo Switch, so this game is probably only 30 frames per second. And this is also on Xbox and uh, yes. PlayStation? Yes. This is on... So it'll look a lot better on PlayStation and Xbox? Maybe it'll play better. I don't know. Not sure. Hmm. But, I mean, everything that I remember seeing about this game when they were showing it was all action-oriented. Yeah. Oof. I gotta be more careful. Not quite like the penguin I mean, thing. I personally... I mean, I'm... Um... I like how it looks. I don't... I don't really see a huge problem with it. That's just me. I don't really... Um... I think it looks nice. I think it looks super cute, and oh, it has a great, like, 90s feel to it, Yeah, and I really like it, and that, those are the, that's the era of the best kind of games that, so far, I mean, you get to see, um, you know, like, Aang looks like Aang, and Katara looks like Katara, and, um, the story looks pretty good so far, um, I like how they introduce it, you get to talk to the... The other airbender, um, and the environments are really neat, and the game is super happy, and it has cool, um, background music, like, kind of ambient. Made it! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, and he does have some voice acting, which is pretty yeah! cute. Little bit, but, I mean, based on all the dialogue they have in this game, I would have had voice acting. Yeah. And I don't think the strike impacted this game, because I think that they actually worked on it last year. Hmm. Because I remember seeing on Twitter that some of the voice actors from the original series, like, were doing ADR for this, so. Aang returned to the village and faced Zuko. He surrendered so the Fire Nation would leave the village alone. Taken to Zuko's ship, Aang soon manages to escape imprisonment. Okay. So we're on the Fire Nation boat now. Zuku ship. Hmm. Your favorite character is uh, Brent Zuku. Also, Nick's Galaxy. That'd be a cool pull for the um, next episode of this. Yep. Ah. Uh... Another soldier, and I can't get past him. Well, looks like I'll have no choice but to fight. Okay, so now I can finally fight. I have no choice. Ah, uh, now you're inside the combat zone. You can't go outside until all the enemies are defeated. Um, press ZL to lock on an enemy. Yep. Press Y or X to use your bending abilities. Okay. Press L and A to evade. Okay. That works. So L, uh, A and the directional button, or the joystick in any, any direction you want to move, Ang, that's your evading ability. Well... Now that's taken care of. I have to find a way out of here. I didn't want this. Not too bad. You're in the middle of a war, there, uh, Avatar. All right, what is this? Interact. Well, we're getting a little combat. A little bit. Whoa! Food and vegetarian too. This will help get my strength back. Consumables! You will find food to restore your health and potions to grant small ability boosts to your characters. To use them, you must first assign the items on your inventory screen. Okay. I'm sure you're going to go do that for us, right? No, you are not. Okay, yes. This is early 2000s style game. Because they would have, like, taken you to a, um, a screen. So... Here we are on the inventory screen. Uh, recover your health. This is a... Greatly increases your defense. Okay. I guess I did that. 
I don't see how that was really equipping it. I just kind of used it. So the scrolls they'll unlock later on. Uh, okay. I would recommend uh, for the Nintendo Switch that they do try to patch this so that the game runs a little bit faster. Like it is, hmm. especially for a Nintendo Switch game, this is running kind of sputtery. Okay. Which, oh, good job, Aang. Yeah. All right, so then you can barely see this, but see that wheel? I think you need to use this to open the door. Oh, yeah. Good, the door is open. I better find my glider so that I can get off the ship. And the glider, I'm guessing, will be another mini game of some kind. And this is what, a Fire Nation? Interact. Oh, that just gives me, okay, some money. And I can go in this room. Another puzzle of some kind. Mm. Hmm, I wonder if there is something important locked behind the doors. Let's open them to find out. Okay. I mean, the character model does look nice when you're actually able to see it. Can I not? Should I open? Okay, so then I have to open a series of doors. Huh. Okay, so this is another pie show tile. Yep. I think. More pie show tiles! Just what I needed! Mission complete. A puzzle solving storage room. Alright, so how many pie show tiles was that? Let's go over to our... Uh... Slow menus. Uh... Ang now has three pie show tiles? Blow harder. Increase air bending damage. Mm, that's bending pretty cool. Bending gauge. Recovers. There's a recovery. Change your element makes your next attack more powerful. Bending a attack boost. So Increase damage. They, I think they want us to do this one. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I, I got it. Now I'm zero. Well, okay. I did whatever that one was. Yeah, even the menu layout. Sorry, guys, for getting all critic-wise on you, but the menu, on at least on the Switch, is kind of slow. Um, Ang, uh, you can see the camera and Ang himself like also move like at a slower pace sometimes, especially when uh, that steam is blowing. It's kind of slowing down the game just a oh, little wow. bit. You can change your target and select another enemy to lock on uh, by pressing ZL. Okay, so you use the other joystick to change your character. Uh, press Y or X to start using your bending abilities. Okay, press ZR to cover from attacks. That's your shield. Okay. Create a barrier, then press ZR to throw the barrier at enemies. Interesting. Okay. So I can make a shield, and then I can toss that shield to people. There's also, it looks like there is a uh, cooldown to use your powers, so you can't spam attack. Because eventually your combo is going to run out. And then you have to wait for your uh, ability to come back. Which, depending on how many enemies you're fighting, that could be a problem. You also can't just fight enemies whenever you want to. You can only fight enemies inside of a combo, or a combat area. See how everything gets like kind of shut off, yeah, and then the it. gameplay style changes again. Yeah, that's... I like throwing the shield at people. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So it's like an adventure puzzle game, and then it turns into a combat game. Kind of, yeah. Again, it's that I would say 1999 to like 2005 gameplay style. A little bit. Hmm. It's not really common anymore that I know of, unless. Yeah. Oh, we can get the chest, I think. Huh? Oh, you saw a pie show chest in there? It opens. Oh no, I see the chest is on the ground. Yeah. Okay, so pie show tiles. 
Let's see, was it any pie show tops? Also, the menu goes back to the very beginning. Um, it does not... Uh, wherever you leave it, it doesn't stay on there. What is this? Okay, so I have no pie show tiles. So it, uh, the menu system to me runs about as quick as um, uh, Fall Guys on Nintendo Switch. Which, you know, doesn't look like it was optimized very good, personally. Um, the rest of the game is fine, but the menu system, getting to the map and all that other stuff, I mean, it's, it's too much of a delay. There's Aang's glider. Interact. Yeah. Good job, Aang. Oh, mission accomplished. Escape Zuku ship. So all I had to do was go to the glider. So I could have explored the ship more, but oops. Well, that's okay, honey. You're just doing it. You're just doing it at um for your first time. You're just doing it blind. Yes, this is blind. Oh, there's Zuko. Yep, Zuko. Hmm. Where do you think you're going? Please, I don't want to fight. I am Zuko, son of Ursa and Fire Lord Ozai, prince of the Fire Nation and heir to the yeah, throne. Yeah, see, the game would have been much better if they keep having voice acting. And you mm -hmm. will be my prisoner. Boss battle, Prince Zuko. Awesome. Okay, and then it shifts into combat mode. All right. If you are in trouble, open the pause menu for hints to defeat the boss. Okay. No, you don't. I don't even think I hit him yet. Also, I noticed it's not locking on to him. Ow! Why don't we cool down? Oh, there we go. I hit him. So you have to wait until after he's exhausted a bunch of his power, and then he'll stagger for a second, and then you can attack him. Like, I wouldn't recommend attacking him until he stands... Like, Zuku stands still. Okay. Nice ship you have here! Oops. Let's go, Aang. You can do it. You're mine, Avatar. This is getting serious. I'll never stop hunting you. Okay, now he's gonna go through this phase again. This actually controls fine. Like, um, this boss battle is running fine. Like when we were doing combat areas against like in-game characters or whatever. Like, the game was sputtering a little bit, but this is very smooth. Alright, he's on. No. There we go. Beaten by the Avatar. Goodbye, Zuku. For now. Yeah! Alright, alright. Did you see that? Cutscenes are nice. Aang, are you okay? Hey, Katara. Hey, Sokka. Thanks for coming. Well, I couldn't let you have all the glory. Mm. Yep, yep. I'm going to be stuck there for a while. Alright, so chapter 1 complete. Free mode is unlocked. You can now play chapter 1 with your favorite characters on free mode. I don't know what that means. Uh, continue. So our reward was one of the pie show tiles. So we cannot upgrade again. Because they only give us one. Mm. Airbending scroll. Use the scroll to unlock a new airbending attack. Bending scrolls. 
These upgrade attacks and abilities of each of the four bending uh, disciplines. These scrolls will be earned after each chapter when the player will be given chances to decide which bending attacks or abilities to upgrade. Okay. Uh, so there's another skill tree. Size and damage of air sphere increased by... Did I buy it? Okay, I own this now. Okay. Trap attack unlocked. Press X on a targeted enemy to trap them. So after you select an enemy, you can hit X or hold an X. Because just tapping X would be your long range attack. You want to hold it in. Okay, cool. After escaping from Prince Zuko, the Avatar excitedly flew his friends to the Southern Air Temple. The home he had run away from 100 years prior. He felt shame for abandoning his old mentor, Gyatso, and for running away from his responsibility. Aang entered the Air Temple Sanctuary, expecting to meet someone who could help him on his Avatar journey. Instead, he found Momo, a flying lemur who became Aang's friend. Upon exploring the Air Temple further, Aang made a startling discovery no. and was forced to confront a dark truth. All the air nomads, including Aang's friends and his mentor, had been wiped out by the Fire Nation. He became overwhelmed and entered the Avatar state, which would have led to disaster if not for Katara. And that's when Aang faced the hardest truth of all. He was the last of his people. The last airbender. He felt he needed the advice of the Avatar who'd come before him, Roku, but didn't know how to get it. So Aang and his friends continued on their journey. Interesting. Yep, so they're doing the whole uh, story, which is good. So we're on chapter two of the Book of Water. Uh, this is why we're here, Katara. Just watch. So Aang's playing. Mm, very cute. So we have another, another mini game. Yeah. Oof. So I don't know. A very slow mini game. I don't know why. Um, I. Um, I don't believe that the voice actors are young enough to actually play the voice actors in this game, and I think. As far as I can see, they're having like a reboot of the series or something, or something like that. I saw online, and they're not gonna have the same. I don't think they're rebooting the I last know, Avatar, are they? I just looked at something online about it. And actually, the actors a long time ago. still sound like they're like mm -hmm. Ang is the same actor. Oh, Ang is the same actor in this game. Mm-hmm. As he was in the show? I believe so, yeah. Sounds like him. Unless that's an impersonator and Zuku is the same guy. It sounds like him to me also. I don't know why people were trying to say it wasn't him. I mean, people's voices do change over time. Yeah, of course, but I mean... Oh, I need more practice. Unless that's a new Aang. It sounds like the original guy a little bit. Okay, not a fan of these racing levels, or whatever they're called. Okay, so I'm supposed to... Alright, so the guy who originally voiced Aang is Zachary Tyler Eisen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quick IMD, I, ah, IMBD search will tell you who the actors are in this game. Mm. Oops. Yeah, okay, no, I did that right. Okay. So I go over here, and then I go down. Okay. Then I go over here, and I go down. And I change. Then I go down. Okay. The only way to go past the fish is to go down. Oh, come on! And I need to get 80 of these tokens in order to clear this? 
of 80. The boats come right at you. Wow. Wow. And down. Over. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. This looks uh, kind of tricky. Luke. Well, I mean, if the game would actually move a little bit faster, it's a little delayed. Like, you're... It's not necessarily your reaction time's fault. Like, the game itself is... How do I explain this? Um... You kind of feel like you're fighting the um, the controls a little bit, like it's it's a little slow. So it's a, like basically what I'm doing is I'm moving like a, I'm trying to move Ang like a split second before that you would normally move, so that the game recognizes that I'm. Yeah, moving because it. it's um, delayed. It's delayed. Yes, it has to do with the frame rate. Jeez. Um, what is the title of the full game? Uh, um, The Last Airbender, The uh, Quest for Balance, is what the name of the full game is. Okay. Like I said, I don't know what this would be like playing it on PlayStation, but we are playing the Nintendo Switch version, so it's not optimized very well. So, I mean, maybe if you have the ability to get this on uh, the uh, uh, other consoles like I PlayStation or Xbox, maybe go for that because this one definitely has some uh, issues. Okay, so I got some uh, pie show tiles. I got two of them. But I can do one more upgrade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just waiting on the game. Soon after his return, Ang, Katara, and Sokka were captured by the Kyoshi warriors, thinking the heroes were Fire Nation spies. But once Ang proved he was the Avatar, he got royal treatment and a legion of fans. Okay. Oh, yeah! People are sure nice here. Uh, you call that being... Not being allowed to train with Kyoshi warriors nice? Oh, you're the one who wants to train with them. Yeah, whatever. I know, let's find the village captain. Maybe he can help us out. Sokka. <laughs> Special ability. Gives a damage boost to the party members. Press R to use. Cool. So Sokka can hang out with you. Alright, I don't know how to use his damage boost. So now we have three characters hanging out with us. This is the biggest environment so far for the Avatar to, to move around with. So we need to find the village captain. So this is a, a new area. There's a chest back here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Pie show? I can't tell. Um, let's get into our menu. Alright, there are the three characters that supposedly we can both play as. Uh, I have three tiles. So I can do this one, increase air bending damage, or I can do bending gauge recovers more quickly. I'm going to go with increased damage because I think that's more important than this. I'm going to do that. There we go. Okay. And we need to find the village captain. So I'm gonna get that time code in. Mm. 
Yeah, I looked everywhere I could, but I couldn't find who was voicing them. Okay. Uh. Maybe we'll find out in the ending credits to the game. Um. Okay. I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but I yeah, um, two of these characters get married eventually. I don't want. To not the brother that. and sister. Well, yeah, not the brother and sister. Well, okay, now everyone knows. I mean, is. the Avatar has been around for so long. Um, I'm noticing this part. Uh, you guys are seeing that the game is actually running fine. The fire ship, there was some problems, maybe because of all the environmental stuff. Um, but, I mean, this is this is how the whole game should be running. I don't know if this is like an open environment, if this is a level, or what it is. Okay, staying in place. You can press over on the command cross and your character will remain in that spot. Press the button again to make that character rejoin the party. Hold the command cross to release all the characters who were staying in place. Use this to solve puzzles and quests. Okay, so basically we can have two characters stand on this and the door will open. Okay, so let's... Can I be Sokka? Ang is no Ang. Mm. Don't wait in place. Ang, come back. All right, Cyril says they are doing a live action, a movie, and a new show. Says Cyril. Okay. The movie will be the original Squad. The live action will be a show about the original Squad. And the show will be something new. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So they're. We've got a couple things in the works going on. So they are remaking the original Avatar, or they're doing something else? Like, the original crew is coming back for a movie, is what they said. I don't understand. I, I just read what was in the... I don't really understand. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. I don't really understand. I saw stuff online about the original crew is coming back for a movie. Mm. That I believe is not live action. Oh, okay. I think it's an animated movie. And then they have a live action show that's separate from that. And then there's something else going on that I don't really understand. Hmm. That's fine. Cat dander. Uh-oh. Focus! Consecutive successful hits on enemy boost your focus and increase your damage and range. Being hit will decrease your focus, so watch out. Random encounters? Here we go. Oh, why would all these people be fighting you? Why that? would they randomly come and attack you? Oh. Maybe you made them upset. Hey. Soka. Wow, these bandits are made of tough stuff. I'll get hurt if I'm not careful. We're on uh, it. Don't worry, Sokka. If you get a bandit... Uh... Boo-boo. Boo I'll heal you right up. Bandit boo-boo. Okay, so she has healing ability. Each character has a special ability except Aang. For example, Katara can heal her friends. Try out the special abilities of each character. How do I heal? You just say, she can heal, but you don't tell people how to heal. How? I am her, so how does she heal? Arbun? What did that even do? Ow. You never had a chance. They all dodge the same way. All have the same dodging animation. I'm ready. Heal people. Your friends are what? Your friends already have full health. Oh, okay. What does Soka do? Does he throw the boomerang at people? Yay! I might actually just stick with Soka. I think he'll be more interesting character in combat. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to play Soka for a little bit. He's pretty cool. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, okay, all right. And what's for me? Okay, moving on. And we hope you guys are enjoying our avatar coverage. The full game comes out tomorrow if you are interested in it. I think the game has a little bit of issues, but I think it's okay. It's not too bad. It just, it has a, a very dated feeling, which I think works for the Avatar based on, you know, this show yeah. came out in the early 2000s, I believe. 2000, I want to say 2006, 2007. Old school type game for an old school show. Mm, the show is great, though. The first Avatar show is amazing. Buy food and potions that can restore your health and grant small ability boosts. You can also sell extra items so you don't have you don't want to carry some special items will be available at select shops okay oh they're making me do this welcome uh i'm sure you have something i will like okay wait i don't want to buy this they're forcing me to buy this peach i don't want it darn okay I don't want to buy anything else look good to you. No, don't make me buy a peach again. Mmm, yummy peach. Okay, let me explore your shop. What you bought will go to the inventory. There you can use it for assigned quick use. Go to the inventory and press plus. Okay, so they're making me do this. Party. Inventory. Press the Y button, select consumable. So I have to use this. Y. Item is assigned. Okay. Confirm. Exit. Okay, but whatever. I'm ready to buy more stuff. Hello. Bye. Okay, now I can move stuff. So we have a water bending scroll. It costs that much money. Two thousand five hundred dollars will give you a water bending scroll. Unlocks new water bending attack. So I wouldn't even bother with this stuff. You want to save up your money in order so you can buy the scroll so you get better abilities. Oh, okay. But I didn't get a choice. The game made me spend money. Oh, wow. Yeah. It didn't let me. Um, that is a Ky Kiyoshi warrior. So we'll go talk to her. What is that? Can I pick up those peaches? No. Mm, I guess I won't let you. That's weird. No. That is, uh, Kyoshi oh. Mori. Greetings, Avatar. We are honored to have you here. Hey! Uh, the honor is mine. But what's with the long faces? Is something wrong? Uh, today the villagers provide peaches to the Kyoshi warriors as a thank you for keeping the village safe. I was supposed to collect them, but was delayed and now I cannot leave my post. Huh. The villagers might uh, become insulted if we disregard their gifts. Can you collect the peaches for me? Sure thing. Thank you, Avatar. Okay, so now we can actually collect the peaches that we saw before. Ah, so they're a side quest. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. How many peaches do you need to collect? Let's go to our quest <laughs> menu. Collect the five tribute peaches around the village. Okay. Pretty straightforward. So let's go back and see if we can find millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Millions of peaches. Peaches for free. Uh, old song. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I remember that song. <laughs> what is that? Uh, nope, no peaches up there. That's just a rock. So just exploring, guys. Again, this is our first time through this game. Uh, we're in the area where the Kyoshi Warriors are, so this is book one, Water, chapter mm. two, if you're following along with the original show. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, in fact, this entire stream is probably going to deal with water, or mostly water. That makes sense. I mean, the game's not mm. bad. It definitely has some hiccups, though. Mm-hmm. Um... Crossfighter says peaches, 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 peaches. Yeah, that's the new peaches. <laughs> Um, hello, um, hi Jonathan, hi Pokey Potter, hi Man Spider, hello Sons of Gaming, hi uh, Crossfighter, hi Blackwing, hi Katie, 
Sharon LeRae and um, uh, Tom and uh, Geo Bowman and Jacob and everyone. Um, how you have uh, several people asking how the game is so far. Um, I would probably not get the game on the Switch based on what we've seen. Yeah, I wouldn't get it on the Switch. If you only have Switch, then it's pretty cute on the Switch, but it just has some like frame rate issues. But correct. Um, other than that, the game is. If you're looking for an old school game, this is like an old school type of game. So it's not exactly what they uh, showed in the trailer where it's like super action packed. It's more like um, kind of hanging out and adventuring and um, puzzles. And and then there is some combat, but it's not all the time. Combats are regulated to combat zones. So it's like uh, how they advertise the game to me, it looked like your traditional um action adventure game and like it has fixed camera it's got some at least the switch the switch has some slowdown areas this is what's considered a open environment like there's a lot of linear levels uh this one is running a lot smoother for us because um on the fire ship like zuku's fire ship it was a lot of steam and other things that were causing the game to really be um, what's the word I'm looking for really slow down yeah so if you guys are wondering what the combat this is kind of what the combat looks like once in a while a square will appear and then you enter a combat zone and you do like a quick combat mission and then after that's done you go back to exploring and you know um, talking to people doing puzzles and stuff yep um, bender characters have a uh, cooldown for their attacks, Soka does not. So, I'm gonna be playing as Soka as much as possible because, I mean, he can wreck people with his boomerang, which is fantastic. Um, no cooldown needed for Sokka because he's not a bender, so mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. Right now, we're doing a Peach's quest. Yeah, he's the, he's the, um, like, physical character, not the magic character. Yes. <laughs> and Soka had a big role in the show. He also dated one of the Kiyoshi warriors at one point, but Sokka never ended up settling down with anybody, which is a shame. Um, according to the the second Avatar show, he was, you know, oh yeah, never quite could find the right one. Although he had the right one with a uh, a Kiyoshi warrior, but it didn't work out, or maybe he didn't try to work it out. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's what people, some people were saying that Sokka um, had a girl that he liked, but I guess he didn't end up settling down with her. She probably got tired of waiting for him. Oh, yeah, he was probably doing a lot of well, exciting she, things. Well, she was a adventure person, too. Hmm. They could have gone on adventures together, but I think that as a Kyoshi warrior, she had other responsibilities. I haven't watched through the entire Avatar show in a long time, but there was also, like, I believe the creators wrote stuff about the characters as well. But hmm. I thought there's a new Avatar movie coming out that takes place when they're older. Oh, well. What was that? Yeah, I quite... I mean, I haven't watched the entire series, but... Um, I watched a lot of it, but I guess I watched it out of order. But I didn't realize that, um... Uh... Sokka and the other girl... Oh my gosh can't remember her name um she's right there but i can't i didn't remember katara? yeah katara i didn't realize that they were brother and sister yes they're from the i water thought they tribe. were just friends and i was like huh i wonder which one she'll pick i had no idea that they were brother and sister oh gosh so i guess i watched that show with not the correct uh mindset going on yes they were always <laughs> brother and sister they're the first characters that ang meets like the first other benders yeah they find don't they find him in the middle of the ocean and he's like stuck in a he's in an iceberg or something think oh, of yeah, it like iceberg. captain america like yeah. guy stuck in the iceberg for a hundred years yeah yeah mm. pretty much although i thought cap was in the ice for like 60 years or something like that they keep making it longer and longer because captain america has to have his uh you know you fought in World War Two, so now it's like 80 or 90 years he was in the ice or something like that. Oh, I've been a fan of you guys for um for 10 years. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you, Cutler. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, so we're doing a little quest. Can we interact with these characters? No. 
Um, it looks like the only characters you can interact with are ones that have markers over their heads. Um, but this is definitely like a, a big environment. Um, you would need Toph here. That is, I, I'm a little off here, but I'm pretty sure this is a symbol for Earth. So you can come back and replay environments uh, later on. So you would use Toph's Earth ability here. And then you would send uh, Katara back there and mess with that ice block, and that will give you something. Mm. So let's see what this kid wants. Aww. Uh, Avatar, oh, Avatar, please help me. That's a girl. Help me. What? What's wrong? Uh, Bandit stole my mother's locket. It means the world to her. Could you get it back from them, please? Sure thing. Don't worry, I will get it back for you. Yippee! Oh, thank you, Avatar. They have a hideout near the waterfall. Okay, so we're doing a quest. Cool. All right. So you can select quests based on uh, <gasps> these characters that have things over their heads. What's this one? Well. Oh, uh, uh, hey, hey, uh, Angie, I hear you like challenges. I got one for you. Uh, okay. Uh, I um heard someone humming a really great tune, and I thought, hey. I wonder if the Avatar could learn the tune and play it here on my flute. Um, think you can do that? Find someone humming a tune and then play it here. We'll get right to it. Okay. Um, actually, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I knew you'd do it. You're the best, Angie. Okay, or so that's, that's another quest. And quests <laughs> yield, um, sometimes gold. Okay, actually, we don't even have to go. So right there, see your pie show tiles? If you guys are just joining us, pie show tiles is how you would go into your character skill tree. By completing quests and finding chests, sometimes you'll get pie show tiles. Usually you need three pie show tiles in order to uh, actually unlock something on your skill tree. Right now, we currently have zero pie show tiles. Um, so we need to collect some of those or we can't do our next upgrade. And we don't have fire, so we can't light that. Um, was there any other characters around here that we can interact with to start another quest? Let me just see. Go up here. Oh, I, um, that's, oh, you watch The Legend of Korra all the seasons? Awesome, Captain Zack. That's fantastic. That is nothing we can interact with. Okay. What is over here? This is back. Uh... Okay. What is this? Ah, the Avatar statue. Use Avatar statues to save your progress, restore your health. Over time, these statues will acquire new abilities, so keep checking them out. Oh, that's right. One of the Kyoshi warriors was... Um, was an Avatar. A long time ago. What should I do? Save. What do you mean by change character? What does that mean? Change character. Okay, co-op mode. Now you can play with friends. Enter co-op mode and follow the instructions. All right, guys, we're going to try co-op mode. Oh, that's really cool. Um, oh wait. Avatar The Last Airbender actually won the award for the Kids' Choice Awards, breaking SpongeBob's winning streak. That's really cool, oh wait. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, Amber can play too, because it says anime crazy. We're gonna try. See how it does. It's making me all watery-eyed. Okay, co-op mode. Now you can play with two players. Okay, what do we do? Uh, how do we activate two players? Multiplayer minus local. Okay, Amber, you should be able to be Katara. Okay, it's gonna make you do this. All right. Oh, I have. Wait, I have to select Ang, and then how do you come in? It says you're in. I guess you are... Wait, I guess I'll just automatically be Katara. Cannot what? 
What does that say? You cannot change characters now. Okay, so we're good then. There we go. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. So now we're both in the game. What was that? I don't well, that know. That person's learning. You have to learn that on the flute. I don't know how to do that. How do we get the flute? Okay, that doesn't work. R? How do I learn music? No. I don't really tell you how to learn the music, though. Uh, find someone humming a tune. Uh, Ang for the challenge requires him to find people around the village humming tunes to use and repeat the tune on the flute. Okay. Well, how do I do the tune? I'm Ang. No, that didn't work. You have to press the button you talk to people with? Friends already are at full health. Y, X, R, L. Maybe we just go back. And then go back to that other person since we already heard it. You think that's it? Maybe. Okay, well, I guess so. Then I I heard... Well, it says assign an item if you press over. Well, that's the tune. I guess... Try pressing um, over on the D-pad. No, that just changes characters. Okay. What is that thing that looks like sound? It says press X. <gasps> oh, that's just an attack. All right, well, we heard the tune. Let's run back and see. Uh, Aang running is weird. Aang, what are you doing? Why are you running backwards like you're moonwalking? What is going on? <laughs> because I'm Aang! <laughs> you know it. You know da, it. Da, da, da. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Who's the avatar? <laughs> Ow! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you know I'm avatar. I'm avatar. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing this? What is going on? The game's freaking out on us. Uh, <laughs> I guess this is a person. Is he? To. Okay, he's he's back to being normal now. Uh, I don't think I can do quests with two players. Maybe we can't interact. <laughs> uh, I had to I had to learn the tune, but it's not. It didn't do anything. You know what? We're not gonna focus on that. Let's go beat people up. Okay. And worry about that some other time. Uh, the biggest thing I'm struggling with this game is the text is just way too small. It's not very accessible for people who, you know, can't see very well. Um, alright, let's go do something else. Contribute to the Kyoshi Warriors the locket. Go to the waterfall and recover the locket. Okay, we'll do that. Unless you can't do side quests during two-player. I don't know. What is this? Ah, uh, Ang, the I am the village captain. Welcome to the Kyoshi Island. Haha! <laughs> hey, glad you asked. You wanted to train with Kyoshi warriors, but they wouldn't let us. Ah, and by us, oh. Saka means himself. Right. Hmm. You'd have to help out around here to be able to train with the mighty Kyoshi warriors, and I may have just the task. Ah, uh, the village is being plagued by gangs of bandits. Search uh, for them around the village and fight them. Return here afterwards and I will see what I can do. Okay. So we have been fighting bandits, but we're not doing that right now. Let's head to the waterfall. Yeah, I don't understand what we're supposed to do here. Like, Aang's probably supposed to pull out some musical instrument, but it's not working. So we're not going to worry about that right now. These are bandits. You asked for it. Yeah, you got it. Alright, I'm gonna play Ahsoka again. I like playing Ahsoka. Aha! Alright, bandits are toast. We have to clear out six bandits in total. So we're gonna keep going. Great job, Sokka. Sokka, kicking butt, taking names. 
Who needs avatar powers when you have a boomerang? Whoops. These must be the bandits who stole that locket. Time to get it back. Okay, so this is a quest. Eat boomerang, fools! Yeah. Alright, so two-player works really well. Oops. I guess that was it. We've got the locket! Let's bring it back to that little girl. Ready or not, here we Alright. And we're also on the hunt for getting some peaches. We just need one more set of peaches and then we can finish the Kyoshi Warriors quest. Cool. Yeah, but only Aang has the ability to double jump high because he is the avatar. You cannot change party members right now. Well, now I can. Apparently you can. Apparently I can change things now. Ha ha ha. Uh... I would have to say move this box, perhaps? Oh no. Can I get behind here and push this box? Ah, I can! Excellent! Okay. Aha. And then move this up. There we go. Box puzzle. For the win. Really? That's, that's it? Ah, oh, the last peaches! Oops. Tribute. Did all the peaches done now? Uh, tribute for peaches. Return of the Koyoshi Warrior. We have collected all the peaches. Alright, so the locket and the peaches are in the same area. This is... Pie Show Tiles. I don't know how many they gave oh. us, though. Let's see. One pie show tile, which we can't use to upgrade anything currently. All right. Hup. What is this? This is a... This is for... Katara has to come here because that is a water bending symbol. I believe. Okay. Where is Katara? Well, all right. Yeah. So you're going to have to jump all the way over there on that box. See if you can. Oh. Can you double jump? You only jump once? Hmm. I'll try it again. I think I can double jump. It's just hard for me to see it. So far away. No, double jump would be two jumps. Why did I let that happen? Whoa! Oh no! What what hap what happened? What does that mean? Does that mean all the quest stuff that we were doing is now gone? Oops, sorry about that. I think we'll hold off on two player for a little bit. Okay. If if that's the case. Uh, sorry about that. I tried to get the hit. Mm. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have gone to Saka and then you could have played as a Katara. Let's hope that's not the case. Okay, it looks like um, all the stuff that I did is still fine. Okay, yeah, why don't you switch to uh, Sokka? You would you would hit up on the controller? Okay, so we need to... Alright, 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 alright. You can't. So I need to go back to the statue, and then you're going to have to pick... Or we'll have to disable two-player for just a second. Because I don't think it'll let you select... Saka. Oh, here we go. This isn't going the okay, way I expected. Oh. Also, I want to see like what happens when we move second player if he'll actually do the flute thing. It does make sense. There's that annoying melody again. Alright, so we're gonna let's see how easy it is to take away two player now. Save. There is some auto saving though, that's good. Okay, that's kind of nice. Alright, single player. Yes. Okay, so we're on single player now. Well, thanks for having me play for Oh, we're, we're gonna have you come back. I'm just trying to figure out how Aang is supposed to learn this stupid flute. Ah! 
There's no way to talk to the character. Aang is waiting. Hmm. Nope. No buttons I'm pressing. He's not pulling out a flute, so I don't know. Worry about it later. Alright. Can she interact with this person? No, only Anne can use a flute. All right. Anyway. Well, we tried. Yep. Yeah, let's go see what that water bending thing is. She cannot double jump. All right. So we'll try it out. Do 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 do. Okay. And of course, we'll be back with more Avatar uh, in a little bit. Yeah. Great job on the 160 uh, likes. Two. Okay. I knew it. It is a water bending thing. Interact. Ah. Nice, Luke. That's fantastic. You were right. The little emblem was a water bending emblem. Yep, yep, yep. Ah. Hey. Huh? Another one of these strange platforms, like the one I saw on the Fire Navy ship. What's it doing here? Mysterious voice. Come, Avatar. Step onto the platform and activate enlightenment. Huh? I will start to figure out what I am supposed to do. Let us go. Sure thing. I'll make the time. I need to learn what I can. Okay, so we need to switch to Aang. Oh, but if we switch to Aang, then he has to come all the way back. Interesting. Okay. Whoa. All right. Maybe this is how he gets his water bending power. Let's find out. Enter the bind bending challenge. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Well, as long as it's not blood bending. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool that Toph invented metal bending, though. I didn't know that. Yes, she did. Bending challenge two. So Toph is Magneto. Ah! <laughs> Toph is Magneto. I like that. All right. Hit the wheel switches to move the platform. Once in the correct position, they will create a path upward. Your rise to the surface is symbolic of the enlightenment you are attaining as you face these challenges. Okay. And we can save. We would like to save. Okay. Oh, yeah, I saw what um, somebody wrote. Either Sons of Gaming or someone else wrote about mm. airbending. It can be dangerous as well and evil. Everything could be dangerous in moderation. Okay, so um, we're going to continue this on the next stream. We're actually mm. at a place where we can stop, which is cool. Uh, okay, so I don't even know how to get out of here. Go to main menu. What is this? Is this go back to the main game? I thought Toph was the melon lord, says OH. Oh, yeah, Toph likes melons, I think. Or Okay. I think. All right, so there you go, guys and gals. That is the first episode of the Avatar. That was uh, we're still in water, so next yeah. episode we'll be dealing with Avatar challenging, our Avatar challenge, finishing off the Kyoshi area to get their favor. Um, we can't really look up how to use the flute thing because this game hasn't officially come out. But there's a free mode where you can go back and revisit stuff, I believe. Um, but we hope you guys will come back for the second episode, which will be starting at 6.30. Thanks so much for watching, and check out the Avatar when it releases tomorrow around 10 in the morning. The Quest for Balance, a retelling of the events of Aang's journey to become the last airbender slash avatar to save the world from the nasty uh, war that it was, you know, currently being plunged into, so. Awesome. All right, guys. And uh, the winner <laughs> of the poll is. It looks like air. Awesome. So most of you guys would want to be an airbender. Very cool. Uh, actually, just like uh, Zuku and Aang, they are even. Oh, wow. 31%. Wow, that's really cool. Good job, guys. All right. We'll see you on the next exciting episode of The Avatar. Uh, you'll be redirected to that. And. Uh, it's time for us to have a, a little bit of dinner. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. God bless and happy gaming. See you on the next episode starting up in 30 minutes. See ya.